Behold! Hey, you guys finally made it. I was searching for hours. Still didn't see any sign of those three, so uh, I decided to come back. How about you? Find anything? Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Hmm, I see. So you came up empty-handed, too. Well, it doesn't matter. I already came up with a new plan. Huh? What plan? Shinobu told me a saying after she got back from studying in Liyue. It went something like, uh, the something by day becomes, uh, something by night? Yeah, that's what I said. Come on, keep up. Anyway, I was so focused on scaring people last round that those three dressed up as ghosts caught me completely off guard. But not this time! Oh no, I'll be hiding nearby and waiting for those three to emerge first, and then I'll nail him with a surprise attack! You two just gotta keep playing it natural and join the contest, got it? Okay, see you later. Wait, Ito! Uh, he ran off again. Well, his plan does make some sense, at least. <sighs> Let's go talk to the Shrine Maiden so we can join the second round. Congratulations on winning the first round of the Test of Courage! Now you're one step closer to the dark, messy truth. Hey! Cut the nonsense! What we just saw was super terrifying! Oh, really? Good to hear. Hearing the word super terrifying is exactly what all us event organizers would like to hear. Uh, no, that's not what Paima means! Something mysterious is also happening here, not just the event! So what? You've heard the stories about the Test of Courage, haven't you? Everyone who participates in the event faces a variety of emotions. People are afraid of seeing their innermost fears appear before them, and yet they still seek the thrill of experiencing those fears. So, isn't it natural for us to have things in the dark and deathly silent forest to help fulfill that experience? Just like the grinning monster standing behind you right now, waiting for you to turn around! <laughs> I knew a little trick like that wouldn't be enough to scare you off. So, congrats on passing this test. Have you found your partner yet? Huh? But don't we already have a partner from the last round? Yes, your team's outstanding efforts certainly won you the last round. So it's understandable that you'd want to pair up with your previous partner. But unfortunately, you must find a different partner for each round of the event. If you don't have a partner by the time the next round begins, then... Yeah, Paimon already knows! If we don't have a partner in time, then we'll be disqualified. Oh, let's ask around and see if there's anyone looking for a partner. trying to fall asleep. The test of courage is too scary, so I keep my eyes closed to not feel scared. But as soon as I close my eyes, it's really easy to fall asleep. During the first round, a big bull-headed beast leaped out of nowhere and scared me half to death, so I ran and hid behind a tree. I closed my eyes and tried to hide for a while, but it was really dark and I fell asleep. By the time I woke up, the round was already over. A big bullheaded beast? Oh, wait, that sounds like Ushi. Now, no one wants to partner up with me for the second round. Oh, poor Sayu. Uh, wait, but why would you join the Test of Courage in the first place? Oh, because I heard that being frightened causes you to grow taller. What kind of silly idea is that? It's just a load of 
baloney. I wasn't sure if it was true either, but since I heard it could help people grow taller, I decided to give it a shot. Well, Sayu doesn't have a partner yet. Should we team up with her? Really? You're willing to be my partner? Great! But please keep an eye on me, and don't let me fall asleep again. It's pretty scary here, but I'm going to face my fears this time. You appear to have found a partner. Let's see if you can repeat your luck from the first round. Though, whether winning should be considered good luck or not is debatable. <laughs> anyway, I will now reveal the item you'll be searching for in the second round of the test. It's a fan. A fan? You mean like the thing we use to keep cool when it's hot out? Correct. The fan was personally selected by the Yashiro Commissioner himself and has been placed somewhere in the Chinju Forest. There will be signs to guide the way, but beware. The darkness that lurks in the forest is drawing nearer. <laughs> Remember, if you can't go on any further, you can always give up and live to see another day. We'll never give up! Paimon, you must be really scared. I, I understand. I'm scared too. What? Paimon's teeth aren't chattering. But I heard a rattling sound. Was that not you? It's definitely not Paimon. Wait, it seems to be coming from inside the shrine. There's something over there. Just a cat! Thank goodness! Hey, the sign is pointing this way. Please come back. Hey, the sign is pointing this way. Please come back. Rises. You appear to have found though whether anyway, it's a fan. Correct. There will be some. <laughs> we'll never get.
something just fell from above. I'm out of here. You who aren't! She's gone! We should get out of here too! It's so dark here. It's hard to make out anything. It's so dim that Paimon almost looks like a flying lavender melon. Hey! That's not Paimon! Looking for? Oh, and Paimon thought we had it too. I usually like to hide here and take a nap. Don't worry, there doesn't appear to be anything scary here. Whew, thank goodness. We finally made it to a safe spot. Uh, Sag, there sure are a lot of lanterns here. Are they supposed to guide us? I heard that there are lanterns that release a gully breeze to guide spirits to be reincarnated. Phew. This place should be safe. I can't believe I made it this far. Hey, did I get any taller? Really? <laughs> That's great! Enough about that! Look, isn't this the fan we're looking for? It has fireworks painted on it, so it must be for some kind of festival. So does that mean the second round of the Test of Courage is over now? Yep, seems like it. Ha-ha! <laughs> We've won again! Great! <sighs> Because I was just starting to feel sleepy. Hmm. Wonder if Ito's still out trying to capture those three from earlier. Paimon's a little worried about In that case, I'll take the fan back with me and have a little nap. Just don't stay out here too long. Ha! Don't underestimate this, Oni. None of you are getting away today. Wow, Ito! Seriously, why didn't you run when I told you? What are you saying? We couldn't abandon you. Yeah, that's right. So just get on with it. If you're gonna eat us, then you'll have to deal with all three of us. We won't back down, even if... Uh, even if we're already in your stomach. Who said we were going to eat you? Wait, are you the ghost of something tasty? Uh, and Ito, why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Hmm... I have a weird feeling that I've seen these three somewhere before. Ah, oh, I know! These are all creatures from the Ultimate Yokai Field Guide that Granny used to show me! There's Yoko, Kappa, and Hitotsume Kozo! They're all Yokai! It sure took you long enough to notice. Well, we recognized you right away! You're an Oni, aren't you? According to legends, Oni are grouchy, extremely strong, and crush other yokai into balls to eat them up. Oh, pfft, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Who came up with that? Besides, you're the ones people are scared of, hiding behind bushes and scaring people off the road. What are you trying to do here? Don't think I didn't see you, following him around and conjuring up all sorts of weird, scary stuff. So it was you three! No, we weren't trying to scare anyone. We were just trying to... Um... Uh... Really? You're not... mad? Even though you scared the daylights out of Paimon a few times, it doesn't seem like you were doing it on purpose. Anyway, let's hear your side of the story and Paimon will decide whether or not to forgive you. Um... Well, the truth is, we were planning a festival. One hosted by the yokai. The humans are also welcome to attend. Ah! The festival that A mentioned! Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh. That does ring a bell. Oh, right! It used to be hosted by the top yokai! I heard it was supposed to be a lot of fun! I mean, not as fun as my almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drumalong Festival, but... Yes. 
The Mikawa Flower Festival is our aspiration. But we know that our festival doesn't deserve that name. The times of Yakiyako are long gone. We're just a bunch of little yokai living in the wilderness. As you can see, we lack the necessary yokai powers to put on such a grand festival. But we're determined to still reach out to humans and express our gratitude. Huh? Gratitude? What do you mean? Mm-hmm. You see, we live in the wilderness and are frequently attacked by monsters. They would come and stir up trouble on our land, forcing us to hand over our food. Sometimes they would even get rough and leave us injured. But later, many human adventurers came into the wilderness and drove off the monsters, allowing us to live in peace. Ah, I get it now. You want to repay the favor, but uh, your powers are too puny. Hey, don't let it get to you. You might be a bunch of pipsqueaks, but you're all solid yokai in my book. So, are you the ones who set up the Akitsu Yugen game on the beach? Yep, that was us. Have you tried it yet? Isn't it fun? We drew inspiration from the legendary Akitsu Hazura. It took after that we didn't have much yokai power left, so we set up some stalls in the forest to add to the festival atmosphere. We were just following you to see your reactions. Is the Akitsu Yugen really that important? Why did you spend all of your yokai power to build it? Paimon would have taken the traveler for a big meal if you had set up more food stalls. Really? To be honest, we've never met a human before, so we had no idea what you would like. We focused on building the Akitsu Yugen because of a legend we heard. Ah, uh, I know the one. It's the story of yokai meeting a human during a festival hundreds of years ago. It's said that long ago, a human samurai once stumbled across the Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh? What's a human doing here? We erected the barrier, didn't we? Ugh, what a pain. The yokai at the festival began discussing how to drive away the human. Huh? When suddenly, they heard a voice. Oh. Oh. Ah. This is our festival, and the point is to have fun. What difference does it make if a human joins us yokai? <laughs> the speaker appeared to be a prominent figure among the yokai, and when he spoke, the other yokai fell silent. You there, young man, do you drink sake? Uh, yes, I do. Ha! Then join us. We can enjoy tonight's festivities together. <laughs> and so, the yokai and samurai celebrated together. The two competed in the highlight of the festival, the Akitsu Hazara. Their spectacular game ended in a draw, and a new friendship was forged. <laughs> I can't believe a human could keep up with me. Witnessing the dynamic powers of the yokai will certainly help hone my swordsmanship. You're a swordsman? Oh, yes. I'm currently traveling the world in search of formidable opponents. Then let's make a deal. We meet for a duel every ten years. What do you say? Hmm. <laughs> I look forward to it. The Mikawa Flower Festival is meant to bring happiness to all who attend, and Akitsu Hazara is a symbol of friendship. That's why, when we decided to hold the festival here, setting up Akitsu Hazara was our first priority. Unfortunately, the real Akitsu Hazara has been lost to time. What we created is a version of the game we heard about from a wandering merchant, so we changed the name to Akitsu Yugen. Yeah, but that wasn't us. We have no idea what could have gone wrong. We closed Akitsu Yugen a while ago and carefully checked it for any issues. But we didn't find anything wrong with it. Maybe it was just some strange mishap caused by our unstable yokai power at the time. Hmm. They don't look like they're lying. And believe me, I know a liar when I see one. Maybe it really was just an accident. After that incident, people stopped coming to the attraction. Later, a human man with blue hair appeared and walked around the area. He had a piercing gaze. I almost felt like he could see us. But then he turned and quickly left without saying anything. It wasn't long before large numbers of people began coming to the Jinju Forest. And visitors were playing Akitsu Yugen again. No, a human man with blue hair? Now that you mention it, 
The fan that Ayato chose is the same kind that's used at a festival. Do you think that he knew about the yokai when he decided to hold the test of courage here? Oh, so my bro Ayato is here for the test of courage too? Or maybe he's here to catch Oni Kabuto! Ha! Had I known that, I would have brought the one I caught a few days ago to battle him! Wow! Ito's still clueless about who Ayato really is! Well, anyway, seems like all the strange things we saw earlier were caused by these little yokai, not ghosts! Huh, what a relief! And now that we know what's happening, the test of courage doesn't seem that scary after all! Hey, you want to hang out with humans, right? I totally get that. After all, we yokai are becoming a rare breed these days. If all we do is isolate, we'll only feel more lonely. So why don't you let this Oni do you a favor, hmm? See, I'm a yokai too, right? And I'm already a natural in human society. I bet there's not a single person in Inazuma who hasn't heard of Arataki, the one and only Ito. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'll show you around. Now that Paimon doesn't feel so scared anymore, maybe we can walk around the area. The yokai said they wanted to host a festival, but Paimon was too busy having the bejeebers scared out of her to pay any attention until next. Come to think of it, Paimon remembers seeing some festival-related items on the beach. Let's head over there and take a look. Maybe we... Rises. Wait! You're the strange lady we met before! Oh, it's you two again. I have to say, I'm impressed by your willingness to approach me after last time. You're much braver than I thought. But I'm not going to let you off the hook so easily this time. If you don't leave, I... Hmm. Nice try, but you don't scare us anymore. We just met your fellow yokai, and they told us everything. Huh? Fellow yokai? That's right. You're another little yokai who lives in the wilderness, aren't you? We just met Yoko, Kappa, and Hitotsume Kozo. So which type of yokai are you, hmm? Oh, let Paimon guess. Uh... Hmm. Actually, Paimon has no idea what you are. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're on our way to play Akitsu Yugen. Care to join us? Akitsu Yugen? Again, that game. How could this be happening now? All I needed was a little more time. And I could... Huh? What's the matter? Are you not feeling well? Oh, maybe you're hungry. Or maybe you didn't sleep well. You look pretty exhausted. Don't worry, Ito has already taken your fellow yokai to meet some new friends. Everyone will get along just fine. Yeah, so there's no need to worry. Come on, let's go play a Kitsu Yugen. We'll see who can finish the game the quickest. The loser will have to grant the winner a wish. Oh, it's starting! Get ready.
Okay. Watch and learn. No way! She hit every cube in one shot and finished even faster than you, Traveler! Oh, Paimon's head is spinning after watching that! Did you see how she did it? Even if the rules have changed a little, I would never lose to amateurs like you. Oh, right. You're a yokai. You're the ones who created Akitsu Yugen. No wonder you're so good. Anyway, we'll keep our word. You can make a wish now. But before you say anything, we won't do anything that's clearly impossible or harmful to others. A wish, huh? Then I wish... That we never cross paths again. Wait, what? But didn't we just have a great time together? That's precisely why. Don't ever come near me or speak to me again. Surely that's a wish you can fulfill, right? This is my final word of warning. If I ever see your faces again, I will... I'll steal your souls! Scared now? Good! Then don't come here again! Uh... Paimon doesn't get it. Did we do something wrong? Uh, fair enough. But... Paimon had a lot of fun playing Akitsu Yugen with her. It would be great if we could see her again. Anyway, let's go see how Ito's doing. Too slow. So, you must be Hitatsume Kozo. Y yeah. <laughs> no need to be nervous. I'm Yuimiya, and I run Naganohara Fireworks. Oh, I once saw some Naganohara Fireworks. Even though I was watching from a distance, they were still so beautiful, bursting across the sky. Really? Then the next time we meet, I'll bring some fireworks for us to launch together. It'll be fun. Whoa, really? Thank you very much. And if I may ask, are you Lord Kaedahara Kazuha? Yes, that's me. But I'm afraid that I'm no lord, just a wandering samurai. I've seen you with your sword in the wilderness. You made quick work of many opponents with your amazing sword. Ah. Uh... That must have been when I was trying to escape Inazuma. It wasn't as impressive as you make it seem. I had to face many trying situations before I was able to leave the islands. The head of the Kamisato clan also lent me his assistance at the time. By the way, this is his sister. Oh, so you must be the one and only Shirasagi Himegimi. What an honor. There's no need to be so formal. I never imagined I'd ever meet someone as distinguished as you. I must be dreaming. Hey, don't you want to go talk to them too? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rather shy. Really? Well, that's strange. You seemed completely fine when we were chatting. I'm not sure why, but I feel so relaxed when talking with you, General Goro. <laughs> Actually, I'm the most timid of the three of us. I hid for days the last time someone tossed a stone into the river. <laughs> Sorry for rambling on. It's odd. I'm not normally like this. Uh, it's okay. You can't excel at everything. The important thing is to have the courage to change. Hey there. <laughs> Chatting away, I see. Mind if I join you? I've never seen a kappa before. Uh, hello there. Thank you for bringing so many amazing people to meet us, Ito. Ah! <laughs> it's nothing! Being the one and only means being the best, you know? Oh, I should mention that uh, I even have my own gang, and every member has a special title. Classic Ito! There you go, bragging about yourself, again! Don't confuse them. Everyone's here for the test of courage, not because you brought them here. Half the people 
people here don't even know who you are. Hey, this is my moment, Paimon. Don't ruin it for me. <laughs> Ito really isn't as cool as he claims to be. When it comes to having connections in Inazuma, nobody can beat Paimon and the Traveler. Oh, yeah? All right. Well, then let's have a little contest and see who knows the most people. Sure. Bring it on, Bull Checker Beetle Boy. Um, uh, please don't fight. Actually, I think you're both really amazing. And you also have a great friendship, just like Lord Kamai and the Samurai. <laughs> well, of course. Boss! Oh, it's the boys! Ah, darn it. I was so caught up with the yokai that I forgot I was supposed to scare the daylights out of the game. Boss! <clears throat> uh, hey, fellas. Look, I can explain. I... Boss! boss we're, we're sorry! sorry. Wait, what now? We shouldn't have ever doubted you, boss. You were right. Yeah, the test of courage is terrifying. There are definitely ghosts here. I still get shivers just thinking about it. But the thrill was kind of fun. Oh, uh... <laughs> well, I told you it would be an exhilarating experience, but no, none of you believed me. Anyway, no need to be too scared now. Let me tell you what's happening here. It turns out there aren't any ghosts here. All the scary stuff you saw was just a little misunderstanding we had with the yokai. Right? Ah, uh, sorry, but I've never seen these three before. I'm not sure where you've been or what you've seen, but I don't think it had anything to do with us. Huh? Huh? Wait, wait, hold on, little Yoko. You're kidding, right? Wait, you know, now's not really the time for that. No, I'm serious. I really don't know what's going on. But if it wasn't you guys, does that mean there are real ghosts out here? Oh, that's right. Paimon assumed she was a yokai too. And we even played a Kitsuyukin with her. Uh, I, I'm not sure who it was you met, but we're the only three yokai who wanted to hold a festival here. Uh, boss, save us! Calm down. Everyone, just, just calm down now. What's all the noise about? Oh, you're the Tenryo Commission's... Hazel! There's nothing to fear. Even if there really is a ghost, only your noise would drive it away. Ito, you and your gang should go and inform the other contestants about the situation. Traveler, Paimon, please, come with me. Oh, okay. Paimon somehow feels a little better now that Hazo's here. Quit following me. Could the rumors be true then? Do strange phenomena really happen every time the test of courage is held? Please be careful. Squall and Fury! The Shrine Maiden appears to be urging us to finish the third round of the Test of Courage. But where did she go? <gasps> Has she been taken away by a ghost? Will Paimon be next? <gasps> Paimon will never leave your side now! The words are scribbled hastily, but there's no evidence of a struggle. However, aren't there too many words written here? I believe that the three items chosen for this three-round contest were each selected by the three organizing parties. The Dongo Milk was chosen by the merchant who funded the event, and the fan was chosen by the Yashiro Commission, which provides... So, does the Hagoita, which should have been chosen by the Grand Narukami Shrine, have any unique significance? Let's worry about that later. The bigger question is, are we really going to join the third round of the Test of Courage? Paimon would love to win the grand prize, but our safety comes first. How about we... I still have my commission to complete, 
So I'll stay. Fear arises from mystery. And it's a detective's job to unearth the truth from... <sighs> Pyron somehow feels a little better after hearing you say that. Okay then, let's wait for a while. Maybe the Shrine Maiden had something to take care of and we'll be back soon. 